Good morning guys, so having a good day so far. So in this video, we're going to be determining if it's worth it, if you buy a commuter car or not. I know gas prices are getting up there. Here it's around 350 a gallon for premium. That's a little outrageous. And I know California is like 450 a gallon for, for those prices. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out if a commuter car is worth it for you. So sit back, relax, enjoy this video, find a commuter car that you like. Here's the calculations and here's how to figure out if it's worth it just based off of gas mileage. Let's go. Alrighty, so I went on a Facebook marketplace, typed in Civics, found this one for around three grand. Doesn't look too bad, 173,000 miles, clean title, automatic, nothing too bad. Let's take a look at the pictures. Looks like a decent car. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one in our example to see if the commuter car is actually worth it or not. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is figure out the MPG for each vehicle. Now, my F-150 actually got 12.3 miles per gallon last time. So, we got 12.3, and then we're going off the ad. The ad says that Civic gets around 25 miles per gallon, which is honestly pretty good. It's it's double the truck, it's more than double the truck, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're also gonna be looking at the gas prices. So here's the gas prices for you. As you can see, regular is 279, premium is 349. So we're just going to go off those numbers. The truck has to take 349 based off the tune that it has. So we're going to write 349. And then the Civic will probably just get regular gas, so 86, which is 279. And now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the 3.49 divided by the 12.3, and we're going to get roughly 28 cents. So that's actually 28 cents per mile that we drive the truck. Now the Civic is gonna be 279 divided by 25, and that's gonna equal 0 0.1116. So we're just gonna do 0 0.11. This is just based off gas. It's not including maintenance per mile. It's not including anything else, just gas. So now that I have this, let me show you how you can justify if this is worth it or not when picking a vehicle, if you're gonna use it as a daily commuter. All right, so next we're gonna calculate how much the truck is gonna cost and how much the Civic is gonna cost per mile per month. So what we're gonna do is I drive around 500 miles per month. The truck is gonna cost, so we're gonna do 500, sorry, we're gonna do 500 times the point 28. So times the 28 cents that we drive per mile, we're gonna get around $140 a month. That's supposed to say month, but you get the point. Do the Civic, which is 0.11 times 500, and we're gonna get around $55 per month. Now, that savings, it's really hard to write on this iPad. The savings is gonna be around $85 per month, which is actually crazy if you think about it for a while. Now, to see the pick that we're gonna get, we're gonna do the price of the vehicle, which is $3,000. We're gonna divide that by the $85 per month, $85. And that's gonna to equal to around 35 months. So just a little under three years. So it's gonna take us a little under three years to pay back the vehicle just by the gas. That doesn't include, once again, maintenance. It doesn't include, of course, my, my heater comes on. That doesn't include maintenance, that doesn't include insurance, and you don't drive the truck whatsoever, just the Civic. So, oh my gosh. You okay? You good? You good? Oh, oh my, what is going on? Oh my, all right, I'm just gonna freehand it. So guys, there you have it. Short, sweet, to the point, and this video is gonna be like five minutes long, so if you thought this was helpful and I didn't BS on anything, Please let me know down below. Here's all my, my paperwork and the iPad that I've been using. Um, let me know if you guys think it's worth it to get a commuter car or not. Or if you just want a beater car that you don't have to worry about putting miles on the truck, this is another good option too. Um, it also helps that they get like 25 miles per gallon. You can use this with any vehicle that you want to justify. Whether it's a Civic, an Accord, a Camry, or a Ranger, Mustang, anything like that, anything that gets better gas mileage or worse gas mileage, so you can see how much it would differ between different vehicles. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share if you thought this video was helpful. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, 
and comment something cool down below. Also comment if you thought this was helpful. And that's it. So see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.